Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today I decided to take a video regarding new war pet, Night Rock, which is pretty interesting and we will be uh, speaking regarding every aspect of this new pet so you guys will understand and use this new pet in a correct way. First of all, as always, we are speaking regarding base attributes uh, like as always I will say try to get a legendary pet because you will get a <clears throat> lot more stats on a legendary pet but for a Nitrog in my opinion there are three main stats first and most important is strength then it will be agility and luck well agility and luck can be second and third place doesn't really matter but most important the stat for this Nitrog will be strength uh, in order for us to understand what kind of pet uh, Nitrog is and what um, it does in general, we need to understand his uh, skills and after we understand his skills, we will be speaking re regarding hero pairs and where this Nitrog will be useful. The main skill uh, of the uh, Nitrog is Ravage. Which means, like, uh, whenever you are dealing a uh, damage, um, especially attack range medium, which means this warpet is a marksman uh, warpet, it will grant the legion um, crit rate and also will deal like additional normal attack damage. So, like, we already understand what kind of pet it is. It's all about normal attack. It's all about crit rate. And it's all about dealing uh, as much damage as possible while just standing and attacking the enemy. Uh, this is the Ravage, the first skill of the Night Rock. Uh, if we want to upgrade the first skill, then it will be Forceful Ravage, which is going to be giving us additional damage dealt, 3.2%, which is determined by strengths. So, like, this skill is determined by strength, and the first skill which we already talk, talked is determined by luck. So we already have two attributes, uh, luck and strength. Regarding like third synergy spell, um, this is like super ravage, will just give you like an additional trigger chance, which is determined by luck. So uh, like we already understand that main attributes for this warpet is strength and luck. So like we already have a synergy here. So which kind of uh, skills we can add to the uh, warpet so it will be better with this uh, Ravage skill. So like as always, Maniac Might is always a good choice, especially whenever you are like physical legion and the Nitrog is a marksman. So like additional legion uh, physical attack will be always good, but we need to understand that uh, only three same attribute skills can be attached to this pet. So. Uh, like, if the Ravage is a, a strength skill and the Maniac Might is a strength, then we need to understand that we need to choose different kind of skills uh, for the pet to be successful. Uh, like, in order for us to know which kind of uh, skills will be good, like anything which gonna give you additional normal attack damage, any skill which gonna give you, like, crit rate, uh, like, for example, uh, like, Maniac Might was a good choice, uh, heat weakness will be always a good, great choice because like main skill of the Nitrog is giving us a crit uh, damage and normal attack damage and also it gives us additional normal attack. Well, uh, heat weakness will be fine, uh, like uh, uh, if you are playing with uh, more of like a counter attack damage style with your marksman, swift range can be fine, uh, like uh, anything which gonna give you like normal attack damage. Uh, will be totally fine on this warpit. Even like, <clears throat> like we, when we're gonna go down uh, to the warpit skills where we don't have uh, enough, uh, like whenever you are going down, you have a lot of s uh, passive skills of the warpits which won't gonna work uh, on a night rock. But in my opinion, the base attributes and base uh, skill synergy is so great uh, with the night rock that. Anything which gonna give you additional attack, additional normal attack damage will be totally fine on this hero. Uh, like regarding other uh, spells, other skills, well, it depends on your playstyle. If you want more of a healing 
then of course like uh, guardian oath can be fine even guardian breeze can be fine like if you want to be a tanky if you want to stay alive as long as possible even great care can be totally fine so like anything which gonna give you normal attack damage crit rate will be fine on this uh war pit regarding like hero pairs um, there are like couple of obvious choices as i already said Nitrock is a marksman uh, warpet, and in my opinion, best synergy uh, with the marksman uh, warpet like Nitrock will be Cindrion and Fragar. Simply because uh, like Cindrion is all about normal attack, is all about uh, dealing the enemy as much normal attack damage as possible. Also, uh, Cindrion and Fragar has a crit rate bonus, same as a Nitrock. Uh, so, like, basically all the synergies uh, which you are looking for is on a Syndrion and is on a Fragar. Well, like, it's obvious, like, that Syndrion and Fragar are normal attack uh, hero pair. They are dealing uh, normal attack damage with a crit rate. So, like, higher crit rate, more normal attack damage will benefit this hero pair. So, like, this is my main idea. Uh, Nitrog was built, in my opinion, to be Syndrion's main pair. Uh, simply because Cindrion is a primary hero with Fragar as a secondary hero and you guys should already understand that uh, war pets can be attached only on a primary hero. Like regarding other hero pairs which could work uh, with the Nitrog, of course any marksman um, legions can be totally fine even like Nico and Kinara but in my opinion uh, like uh, Simple Rock is a uh, Nico's main war pet and Syndrion and Fragar like is the only choice where you aren't gonna miss anything like it's a perfect match even if you will read the description of the heroes you will see that it's all about focus it's all about normal attack crit rate it's all about dealing more damage while just dealing a normal attack uh, what does it mean uh, to deal damage with normal attack well Nico and Kinara is a skill damage heroes while uh, like breaking their defense and uh, Syndrion and Fragar is more of a normal attack hero. So you are just standing there and you are dealing damage, just uh, throwing arrows to the enemy. Um, this is my main idea regarding uh, Rock, Night Rock, which is a newest warpet. Uh, it's a black rock. Uh, it looks pretty cool and in my opinion it will be really really useful um, i want you two guys to understand that it's a great choice to try to get a legendary one because you are getting a lot of stats like as you can see i have an elite one and like seven seven four seven six four is not a great amount but if we we're gonna compare uh, with the legendary um, war pets like you can see how much you are getting by having a legendary uh, warpet, you are having a lot of S, like even here, a lot of S tiers on your skill. So try to get a legendary uh, warpet. It's not that hard. I know it's a grind game, but the result is always a great to have. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I know I have not been um, uploading more videos regarding the Call of Dragons simply because I changed the country and I had the jet lag. Finally, I'm awake and I'm, I will continue taking videos for sure. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.